Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bridge Shell. Now this is voiceover bridge. This isn't in-game bridge. Um, whenever I was originally recording this episode, I did not realize that my lovely, beautiful, handsome, completely not mischievous little new kitten dart. I didn't realize that he had unplugged my microphone from my computer. In turn, <laughs> causing no sound to record. So we are in the glass desert and right now I have one goal in mind which is finding the twinkle slime I believe it's called. Twinkle slime. And this is a sign that they have for their wiggle Wiggly Wonderland event in Slime Rancher. I'm looking around for him just so I can see him. I've never seen him before. This is my first ever Wiggly Wonderland event. And I don't think he really gives anything other than chimes. Uh, which are just, remember the little notes? in the front of the ranch that are just a complete and absolute mess at my front door. Those are chimes. So in the glass desert, we're out on the look for them because in our last episode, this is where we left off. We left off in the glass desert. We were roaming around, um, getting to the glass desert. Now we are officially in the glass desert. So here I'm picking up a rooster. I'm shooting it at this friend here, this little dervish friend. Um, whenever you see a friend who's hungry, you can just shoot food at them and it will automatically give them the food, making them happy. Um, you can do this for your slimes in your ranch as well and it will work. So if you ever see an unhappy slime, just pick up some food and shoot it directly at their little, their little mouths and they'll eat. Uh, wandering around the, the glass desert is always a little bit fun for me because I like seeing them. I've seen it as just a big old patch of sand and I've also seen it with um, these beautiful oases which I love seeing I stuck in a rock. Great. <laughs> great, Bridget. We're doing great. Oh! And we found him! He's just sitting here and singing this really beautiful song. I was so excited to see him. Um, and he explodes. And he gives you a teleporter. I think it's called an ethereal teleporter to take you back home. And that will be available to you all day. So if you want to come back to the glass desert, you can always go and go through that portal. But it's kind of useless for us since we have a portal just above us. Now, the chimes here are lined up in this very specific pattern. They're in like this circle. They're also in um, like almost like Christmas lights, like these beautiful lines that are like draped across from pillar to pillar. Um, I kept running through them, hoping that they would like produce a song and they really didn't. They were just kind of notes that were strung up. I was really hoping like maybe I could find somewhere where a song would start and I just couldn't. And that was honestly, I guess it's a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, like it's beautiful. Uh, it's lovely, it's really cool to see. Um, each day of your Wiggly Wonderland event, you can go and you can find the Twinkle Slime somewhere in the entire ranch and also in the Glass Desert. And you can get these like chime variations. And you can get so many, I think there's like 13 different chimes you can have. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I stopped and looked at this guy because he has like a super cute little face that I just never noticed before. I thought it was adorable and I was like, oh, it's a cute little cactus and it's, it's super cute. But here I am because we pretty much done everything up to this point. Like the, in this game, Savannah and I have reached the end of the glass desert and I really didn't know what to do. But I have noticed running around the farm in my off time that the vaults hadn't opened. So I didn't know um, why our vaults weren't open yet in the old gameplay. 
as kind of like as soon as you reached the end of the glass desert, um, you got a note from Hobbs or um, from H. And it was sitting there saying like, you've reached the end and blah, blah, blah. And it's really nice. Um, I couldn't, and it, it just popped up as like the end and the vault opened. And so I really didn't know what to do at this point because it was like, we've beaten the game. I don't want to make this just a five minute episode because I wasn't expecting to find the twinkle slime so fast. The glass desert is so big and there's so many hiding spots that I was just kind of stumbling around. Here I am, I'm picking out the chickens that don't belong. Um, the phrase don't belong, but um, will cause non-painted hens to show up. So regular hen hens um, will cause more regular hen hens to show up and that's just, we don't want that. We only want painted hens so our, our tangle slimes can be absolutely happy and get two quarts and they can stay full longer. We're collecting our prickle pears for the dervish slimes. I don't know what this thing is. If you can tell me what the decorizer is, or decorizer, I think it is. If you can tell me what the decorizer is, that'd be great. It'd be just awesome, because I have no idea what it is. Um, I Here I was like, oh, I need to put the purple pears in with the dervish slimes. And so, here we are. Um, I went and just kind of explored the glass desert found what I needed for my slimes to make them happy and brought it back to the ranch. Um, and that's why I have prickle pears here. Because when I was in the original playthrough, I didn't have prickle, pa prickle pears and I didn't have a painted hen hen coop. Um, I just had dirt there the last time you saw it. H. A view of the sea really reminds me of our great of purpose Beatrix. The sea was the first great unknown, and then space, and then whatever is beyond all that. The need to see what's around the next corner is in my bones, and since you're out here, I reckon it's in yours too. Though I suppose you could also be out here because you like the fresh air, or you prefer the untamed beauty of this land. Or maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure is the way to do it. Doesn't get up much further than this. Each. So, at this point, I'm just roaming around. I'm trying to remember kind of what I need to do uh, on my ranch, and I'm thinking about it, and there's nothing I need to do. Everybody's happy. Everybody's fed. The plort collectors aren't full. So one thing I haven't done with y'all is I haven't taken you inside of... Oh, I forgot about this. This is like little instruments. Um, I don't know what they do. It, it's really cool. I, I like it. I just don't know what it does. So I believe you can collect different instruments. I don't know how many there are. But they're different instruments, apparently, and it's a thing, so I kept it on piano. We haven't gone inside of our pod yet, so we're going to go inside, and we're going to check some star mail from Casey. Another tour, Casey. Hi, B. There's another tour coming up, and I have a feeling that this will be the one. So here I am, packing my bags and thinking of you. Maybe this is how it felt when you were leaving for your big adventure. Lots of excitement, lots of butterflies. And even though I know you're so far away, I keep thinking that maybe I'll catch you somewhere out there in the crowd. If that ever happens, I promise I'll sing a song for you. It wouldn't be the first time. Casey. Here I explain this 7Z Rewards Club. It's pretty much you're paying to get certain upgrades on your ranch. So here are pod colors. I'm about to get an overgrowth update, and now I'm out of money. <laughs> it's just that fast. It's almost constant. That day, Beatrix took a moment to reflect. She thought about Hobson, Thora, and the adventures that she had exploring the far, far range. But most of all, she thought of Casey and wondered where life would take her next. Uh. 
Oh, please don't say that you'll go. My heart can't bear the news. Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away if you do. And will you know when it's through? When you find what you're looking for, will you know what to do? A thousand light years away when you do. Oh, when you do. And I should have said it before you were gone. Cause I'm kicking myself for waiting oh so long. And I should have held you near every time I fear. Somehow you just wouldn't feel the same. So please don't say that you go. My heart can't bear the news. Just knowing that you'll be a thousand light years away if you do. Oh, if you do. Well, I'm just sitting here gazing up at the stars. Let's say we pick one out and call the whole thing ours. And even though that light we see ain't the same for you and me, well, you'll know and I'll know that you and I can't even be a thousand light years. For every pioneer on every new frontier, be brave, be bold, and stay wiggly. And here we are back at the ranch. Thank you so very much for watching. Here in a second, we're going to get an email from H saying that he's opened the vaults. I went to go check, and now I'm coming back. But Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, go ahead and hit subscribe. Ring the notification bell on when you want up, um, notifications on when I upload. And leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want to see more Slime Rancher. If you want me to start a new ranch, which I would love to do and go through the story with you and geek out over this game because I absolutely love it. But other than that, thank you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great re rest of your week. I hope you're staying happy and healthy. And I'll see you in our next episode.